Hey everybody, Shabo here. Back from a video today. I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a custom character for your game in Roblox. So the first thing you wanna do is go to view at the top, open up explore and properties, open up toolbox, and then open up output. You can use output for debugging. Next, to make our job a lot easier here, we're going to want to get a plugin. So if we go to plugins here, you can see I have rig edit light. If you don't have it, I will put the link for it in the description. It should look like this and you wanna just install it and then use it in studio. If you don't see it in studio, manage plugins and then turn it on. Once you have it, it should be here at the top. If you haven't built your rig yet, then here's something I recommend doing. You want to find which direction is forward before you start building it. So as you can see here, I have this part. I selected it. You can see in properties, it's position. If I move it this way, you can see the last number here is going down. That means this direction is forward. If I move it in any other direction, it won't do that. But if I move it over here, that number goes down. This direction is forward. So I'm just going to build a rig real quick. As you can see here, I've made a pretty good looking rig right here. And first, you want to just make sure all of your parts are named. And for something like this, you just use the names like torso, left arm, right arm. And if you have extra parts, you can just weld these using right edit, which I will show you how to do. But right before we do that, we're just going to make a humanoid root part. So you want to duplicate the torso, name it humanoid root part. I'm just going to change its color so we can tell the difference and then make it transparent. Now what we're going to do is just select all of the parts here, group it up, and then name it starter character. And then, then while you have the model selected, you want to go to primary part and then set it to human root part. Now for rigging it, once you have everything named correctly, we're going to go to plugins, go to edit rig, and then now it should be selected and transparent like this. If it's not, it should tell you select to select something and then you can select it. So what you're gonna do now is just select a bunch of the parts, select the human array part in Explore, hold control and then click torso and then press create joints. And then it should make a joint for that. You can move it and stuff. And let's do it for every limb, do it for the right leg, the left leg. And then for the parts that you want attached to the other parts, you can just select the main part and then select the other one and just press create weld. And then it should just make a simple weld that you can't animate, but it will stay on the part. Once you've rigged everything, you can exit edit rig by just selecting it again. Now when you go to the starter character in Explorer, press the plus sign, and then select humanoid. And it should be done. So if you want to use it, you drag this into starter player. And then if we press play here, you can see that we spawn in as our custom rig. And if you want to animate it, you can just take it out. You use whatever animation stuff you have. So I'm just going to use animation editor, select it, and then you can animate it. If you need help with the animations, I have a walk and jump animation tutorial, which should help you with that. But that's about it for this tutorial. Make sure to set that like button and punch the subscribe button. Peace.